The following content is provided under a Creative Commons license. Your support will help MIT OpenCourseWare continue to offer high-quality educational resources for free. To make a donation or view additional materials from hundreds of MIT courses, visit MIT OpenCourseWare at ocw.mit.edu. Faraday's integral law shows how a voltmeter reading induced by magnetic induction at the terminals of a coil provides a measurement of the magnetic flux density. Faraday's integral law states that the circulation of electric field E around the closed contour C is determined by the time rate of magnetic flux linking the surface enclosed by the contour. The circulation of electric field E around the closed contour C is determined by the time rate of magnetic flux linking the surface enclosed by the contour. In this experiment, the contour C is traced out by the wire in this coil so that the surface S is the area having the entire length of the coil as its edge. In this coil, the surface area S is 8 centimeters by 21 centimeters multiplied by 20 turns. We will use this coil with Faraday's law to find the magnetic flux associated with current in this wire. Here is the wire carrying a current I producing this magnetic field, H sub phi. Here is our coil. In accordance with Ampere's integral law, the magnetic field intensity circulates around the current carried by the wire. The magnetic flux passing through the coil contributes to the surface integral on the right in Faraday's law. The current and hence the field are varying at 60 hertz. So this integral has a time rate of change. Applied to the coil, the line integral on the left becomes the negative of the terminal electromotive force or voltage. Here is the induced voltage in the coil. The total flux linked by the coil is lambda sub f. The upper trace of this oscilloscope records the electromotive force of voltage at the coil terminals. The lower trace is the current in the wire, measured by the voltage drop across a 1 ohm series resistor. With the coil rotated so that it links no magnetic flux, no voltage is seen. With the coil now placed, so that the magnetic flux passes perpendicularly through the coil, the maximum signal is recorded. With the coil straddling the wire, the flux passing through the coil in the upper section is oppositely directed to the flux through the lower section. With it symmetrically positioned, the next net flux is zero. So the measured voltage is zero. The scope traces are triggered on the wire current, the lower trace. So we can see the change in phase as the coil is moved from below the wire to above the wire. The lower trace current is 90 degrees out of phase with the upper trace induced voltage. This is because the coil voltage is the time rate of change of the magnetic flux, and hence of the time rate of change of the current. The coil voltage is 90 degrees out of phase with the current. The coil height is h, the length is l, and the number of turns is n. In terms of these parameters, this is the flux linkage. The flux linkage for a single turn is the surface integral. The total flux length 
is obtained by multiplying by n. R is the distance from the wire to the top of the coil. In the experiment, this distance is R. Faraday's law gives this as the coil voltage. To put data on a plot of normalized voltage as a function of normalized spacing, we compute V sub 0. The coil has 20 turns, a length of 21 centimeters, and the frequency is 60 hertz. The peak wire current is 6 amperes. Then V sub 0 is 1.9 millivolts peak. With the spacing R, equal to six and a half centimeters, the peak coil voltage measured at the terminals is about two millivolts peak. Here is the normalized voltage predicted by Faraday's integral law as a function of normalized spacing. Our data point goes here. These are normalized voltages measured at other spacings. The discrepancy is due to the large sensing coil size as compared to the length of the current carrying wire and the proximity of the nearby return current wire. Faraday's integral law predicts the voltage induced at the terminals of a coil that links a time-varying magnetic flux.